And here we go, Rocket Mill of the day. Start off with the usual collard greens. I have some turnip greens today. You like to eat these turnip green stems. So I'm gonna break them up a little bit. Let's put one more. Gotta leave some of the pieces big just to give them a little struggle. That uh you know, don't wanna make everything too easy. Then I'm gonna give them a few green beans. Snap them in there. Maybe a couple more. And yeah, some of his favorite butternut squash. And uh, a few people ask how many times I feed Rocket a day. Uh, feed him one time a day. He'll get this one meal. He'll probably eat half of it in the beginning. And then he'll save half for later this evening or later on in the day and come back and eat that. And then sometime he'll get a snack a little bit later on in the evening. So let's go take this to him and see how he like it. Still in his enclosure. Mind that window he need cleaning. What's up, Rocky? Ready to eat? Come on down. Whoa. Couldn't even wait. <laughs> Almost dropped it. That's the thing though with these large iguanas. They got large appetites to match. They get pretty aggressive when there's food in the picture. So you always want to be careful. Uh, they'll jump out, either knock it out your hand or possibly land on you. Ain't that right, Rock? Get food in there. Just let him come down and eat. Straight for the butternut squash first. They usually what they do. Go for the fruit or the bright colored vegetables first. That's why it's important, you know, you have one that's not eating to uh, put some yellow with red colored vegetables in there like butternut squash, bananas, mangoes, bell peppers, strawberries, raspberries. They usually get them to eat. But not a slouch with the greens either. Follow the camera. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I haven't finished this meal. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time. Peace. I don't even hold that pose. <laughs>